May 27th I became a man. I just ended a 7 year relationship. She cheated multiple times. Was always messing with other guys. It was always my fault. But I'm the one who cares about her the most apparently and means so much to her life. Yet when I forgive and just ask for her to make things right it's too much or I'm manipulative or she can't be herself yet she cries other people don't understand her and she can only be herself around me. I I kicked her out and she says I threw her away like trash. That I don't care about her. I blocked her on everything, going full NC. But she didn't care about hurting me. It's like she's more mad she has to go live with a friend or her parents rather than accept the reality things ended because of her actions. I've been following this sub for a while reading your stories and gaining confidence strength and knowledge on how to move on. I'm still scared of the future and whether I'll ever find true love but I know what's right and I don't deserve the pain I was going through. But I finally stood you over myself and that's what's important. Redditor's reactions. Redditor 1, my experience is that the only part of you that exists in her world is the part that does things for her. The rest simply does not exist. She's not ignoring it, she's not being malicious, the idea of you having your own dreams and emotions, you know, like an actual human being, is probably completely lost on her. Redditor 2, you did take out the trash. The waste that was toxic for you. Good for you, she is incapable of taking any responsibility for her antics. Redditor 3, I went through almost the exact same thing. 7 years. On again, off again. She would cheat and a few weeks later would come back crying about how she made a huge mistake and she has seen the error of her ways and she's sorry for taking our life for granted and nobody loves her like I do. I heard this story 4 times. God help me. And I kept taking her back because I loved her and couldn't see myself with anyone else. I should have manned up and ended it the first time as she obviously will never change. All I ended up doing was dragging out the inevitable and torturing myself slowly. Think of it as a lesson learned. The weather's getting nicer. Get outside. Go hiking. Completely remodel redo your palace and make it your own. Keep busy. It's all we can do. It'll get better. Redditor 4, you did the right thing. Do not take her back. Don't. No matter what. Redditor 5, she liked that you let her live with you for free not you. Redditor 6, you threw her out like trash. Well, I mean if the shoe fits. Redditor 7, yo. This is the ducking energy I needed today. Sorry for your lost but great job standing up for yourself you ducking king. Redditor 8, well done for respecting yourself and walking away strong. Your words give me inspiration, thank you. Redditor 9, you will now gain a life, my friend. Find your close friends and family and lean on them. Make sure you do not develop unhealthy habits and do not drink excessively, because you will just make acid. In the near future you will see your whole psyche change because you are not emotionally shackled to a horrible person anymore. Be selfish for yourself, she is now becoming the enemy of your heart, and your emotional well-being. I know it sounds dramatic. Make sure your friends keep her out of your orbit, and they do not discuss her life with you. Keep those discussions for your confidants only. She has to stay out of your orbit for good. Redditor 10, so much irony in her words. I know it still hurts. Be strong. By cutting her off, hopefully she slowly sinks into the abyss. Now you can begin to heal. Read books on betrayal trauma. Redditor 11, be ready for your feelings to be all over the place. It will hurt sometimes. It will make you feel empowered sometimes. Lonely other times, free other times. Over time, the negative feelings become fewer and further between and the good stuff stays longer. You indeed deserve better, and am happy that you are giving yourself just that. Congratulations, Redditor 12, do not, I repeat, do not let her set the narrative. It will come back to haunt you in a massive way. Get the true story out to everyone. Even those that were off chance acquaintances. Do not let your good name be ran through the mud. Redditor 13, if you are ever in contact with her, please tell her that her uncle Erda told her to grow up. Redditor 14, narcissistic have a lack of empathy for others. You did the right thing. With time everything will go much better for you. Redditor 15, good for you, didn't seem like you had found true love with your ex if she could constantly do that to you. Stay strong life can only go up for you. 
Redditor 16. Don't weaken, don't waver, don't even agree to a single conversation. Save your own life, losing her was akin to having a demon exorcised from your person. Congratulations on taking your life back. Redditor 17. Hi. Let's talk about you and your healing too much said here about taking out the trash. Part of healing is finding things that do not remind you of her. This is important because you will go through all sorts of anniversaries during the year after the split. I am saying this because seven years is not an insignificant period of time. One of the ways to heal is to look back at all the things you compromised on and did not do because you were with her and she did not like those actions or ideas. Compromise to blend as a couple is normal and healthy so even if the relationship was one-sided you will have compromised away things you would enjoy. Now you must identify and do those things that you gave up because they are not shared, they do not remind you of her and they make you happy. It starts with things like foods, go buy s at loads of stuff you enjoy and she did not, not out of spite but it will not remind you of her, you did not share it and most importantly it brings a little smile and happiness to you. For me it was a chocolate breakfast cereal and I'm virtually overdosed on that lol I ate that stuff for breakfast obviously snacks, lunch, dinner and desert, total overdose but it made me feel good without pressure of her and memories of her, note, it started to bring me back from the changed modified person those compromises created. There will be bigger steps too but you must start with small things first and rebuild your happiness and the happy guy that you are. My huge steps later on were trips and activities, I learned to paraglide, went white water rafting etc and traveled to Bali and the UK later too. You mentioned finding real love later on, be assured that you will find this as soon as you start to smile again. Once you are smiling and happy in your own skin you will exude that energy and that is attractive to the opposite sx, very attractive. You are now on a winning path, have fun, do what you enjoy and avoid anything shared. Redditor 18. I am sorry man, I have been in your shoes and I know how it feels to be cheated on I actually got off a relationship with someone two years ago she cheated on me with her co-worker. These are things that happen every day so let's not be surprised when it happens to us because at some point if you are intellectual you would have seen it coming. Redditor 19, sorry it had to come to that but you did the right thing. You took out the trash. Now it's time for you to heal and recover. Redditor 20, good for you. You stood up for yourself and took your life back. I hope you feel happier and less stressed now. When my cheating ex left it was like a huge weight was lifted. Stay strong, this is the beginning of a much better life for you.